While companies like OpenAI, Google, and Meta dominate global headlines, there's a silent disruptor in the East making massive moves, Baidu. Yes, the same Baidu known as China's Google is now emerging as a powerful player in the artificial intelligence space. Recently, Baidu dropped two upgraded AI models, Ernie 4.5 Turbo and Ernie X1 Turbo, alongside a suite of developer tools, chip innovations, and new platform features. And this isn't just a local update. What Baidu unveiled could shape how we all use and access AI in the near future. In a market obsessed with GPT-4, Claude, and Gemini, Baidu's aggressive pricing, wide accessibility, and enterprise-ready features position it as a serious global contender. And if you're someone who thinks AI innovation is only happening in Silicon Valley, it's time to widen your lens. Because what's happening in China might just push the entire AI industry forward. Let's put this in perspective. The AI industry is evolving at lightning speed. Everyone is rushing to deliver faster, cheaper, and more powerful models. But behind the glamour of flashy American releases lies an equally fierce and innovative ecosystem in China. In fact, more than 200 Chinese AI companies are racing to build large language models, and Baidu is sitting at the top of that pack. And now, with the release of Ernie 4.5 Turbo and Ernie X1 Turbo, Baidu's making it clear, it's not just chasing the leaders, it wants to leapfrog them. These aren't just model upgrades, they represent a broader strategy, one that fuses computing hardware, software tools, developer infrastructure, and a growing user base. Let's break down what makes this such a big deal. Ernie 4.5 Turbo is Baidu's most advanced multimodal model to date. That means it doesn't just understand and generate text, it can also process images, audio, and video, all within the same pipeline. Baidu demonstrated how this model can engage in intelligent conversations while seeing and hearing the world around it. And they claim it's now performing at the level of GPT-4 Turbo. But what's most impressive? The price. Compared to the original Ernie 4.5, the Turbo version delivers 80% lower inference costs. That's not a small optimization. That's game-changing. It means developers and enterprises can now run powerful AI apps at a fraction of the cost, making large-scale deployments more feasible. Whether you're building a customer service chatbot, a creative content tool, or an education assistant, cost matters. Baidu is betting that cheaper access to high-end AI will drive massive adoption, and they might be right. Now let's talk about Ernie X1 Turbo, the lesser-known sibling, but don't sleep on it. This model is laser-focused on reasoning and logical thinking, making it ideal for applications in finance, law, coding, and enterprise workflows. According to Baidu, Ernie X1 Turbo outperforms major rivals like DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek V3, two high-performing Chinese open-source models, and it does so at nearly half the cost. So while X1 Turbo might not be the flashiest in terms of features, it's built to work. It's about practical intelligence. In a business world that's all about return on investment, that kind of precision at low cost is a massive advantage. Now, none of this AI magic runs without hardware. That's where Baidu's custom P800 chips come into play. At their developer conference, Baidu announced that they've deployed over 30,000 of these chips to power their models. Are they better than NVIDIA's H100s or AMD's MI300X chips? Not yet. Analysts say they're still catching up. But the fact that Baidu is developing its own silicon shows just how serious they are about building an end-to-end -end AI stack. Why does that matter? Because as geopolitical tensions tighten and export controls make it harder for Chinese companies to access cutting-edge Western chips, homegrown hardware becomes essential for long-term independence and growth. If you're loving this deep dive and want to keep up with the AI world, both East and West, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We break it all down, no hype, just real stories. Baidu isn't just throwing models into the void, they're building a developer-first ecosystem to back it up. First, there's the new Model Context Protocol, MCP, a framework designed to unify how applications interact with different AI models. Think of it like a universal API. No matter what model you're using, Ernie 4.5 Turbo, X1 Turbo, or something else, MCP ensures smooth communication between tools, apps, and data. Then comes Xinxiang, Baidu's new multi-agent collaboration app. It lets you type a goal in plain language, like plan a one-week marketing campaign, and it delegates tasks to multiple AI agents that work together to get it done. No need for prompt engineering, just type and the agents do the rest. And if you're into digital avatars, Baidu's got something wild. Their latest digital humans are powered by AI models that can mimic emotion, 
tone and gesture with scary accuracy. These aren't just robotic faces. They're expressive, contextual, and designed for real-world use in content creation, sales, education, and more. Let's talk impact. Baidu's AI ecosystem is already being used by 97 million monthly active users, and over 40 million are paying for AI features through Baidu Wenku, their document platform. That's not just hype, it's real adoption, and the momentum keeps building. Baidu also pledged to train 10 million AI professionals over the next five years and launched the Ernie Cup, an AI innovation competition with a massive 70 million yuan prize pool, about 9.6 million USD. It's clear Baidu isn't just talking about the future. They're actively building it and inviting the world to join. Of course, there are challenges. Some Western critics argue that Baidu's tech still lags behind top-tier US models and certain benchmarks. Others point out that tight government oversight and censorship might limit the full potential of these tools outside of China. And then there's the question of trust. Will international businesses adopt Chinese models? Will regulators allow cross-border use? These are still open debates, and they matter. But while skeptics focus on gaps, Baidu is closing them fast. And with affordability and accessibility on their side, it's hard to ignore the momentum. In the end, Baidu isn't just trying to match OpenAI or Google, it's building an entirely different model of innovation. One that's deeply integrated into China's digital infrastructure, heavily focused on cost efficiency, and open to mass adoption. If nothing else, Baidu's rise forces the rest of the world to move faster, think smarter, and price more fairly. So here's a question for you. As Baidu continues to drop fast, cheap, and powerful AI tools, will global users embrace them? Or will regional barriers keep them isolated? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. And hey, if you want to keep tracking the global AI race with us, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Catch you in the next one.